the crushing really just deformed the thing. It hasn't like, it's not even crushed to the point where, you know, you can see cracks in the ink, you yeah. know? Um, the plastic, it's got like the original list price, which was 30, 40, yeah, 40, 40 bucks, bucks when it came out. <laughs> um, we've got like the, it's like a mini, like almost like a pamphlet, um, with like the scoring and sort of the basic rules. Limited 90 day warranty. Lim I think this is wow. still valid, right? <laughs> <laughs> when, when, oh, uh, does it say when it expired? 1982, of course. <laughs> Because uh, the Atari 1200XL, at least according to Wikipedia, I guess we weren't really um, there, um, released in 1982, didn't sell very well, so it was discontinued in 1983. So, I mean, we figure, we can't find any actual, like, production or sales numbers, but that seems like a very short run with a yeah. very few number of consoles very. actually put into the market. <laughs> so this seems like quite a... Uh, <laughs> Rare find. Did you figure out how much it retailed for? Um, I how don't was think it? so, but it what, it did say it was more expensive. It was definitely that was one of the reasons it didn't sell. It was, yeah. it was significantly more. Was expensive it released with the 400, 800 at the same time? No, it was it's, afterwards. Yeah, it's this is the first model of the second line of computers. Yes, yeah, like the okay. 400, 800 came out, and then um, this yeah this was the the first model of their second generation, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Although it was still you know, used the same stuff. Um, we have, I don't even know <laughs> why choose it. Why, yeah, why buy an Atari? <laughs> and like, it's, it's, it doesn't even make any sense. I honestly, I feel like the people who, who got this bought it, put it all together once, and then packed it away. Packed it away and just kept it in like a nice, not humid place <laughs> for 20 years. 28 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they sold it to us. They just have a pamphlet. Yard sale. We have caution stuff for the disc like, drive. For the disc drive. We have. <laughs> look at it. It's like untorn. Registration contest. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, there's a warranty again. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Like, how, how do you keep. Perforated paper from tearing for 28 years. <laughs> Two more limited. Two more warranties. <laughs> we really, I really want to find a date warranty. on one of these. Um, we got a, a product update. Um, oh, so apparently they. It appears that. Um, Is it recalled? Uh, that or they oh, just changed some stuff. Without notice. It does not have an eject button since the door opening makes it easier to insert. To do so, okay. So they, it appears they changed the. Uh, Let's see if we can. Where's the box for the? Are you looking for? The disc. Look, it says on the. It said on the thing that the. Uh, yeah, it does. Okay. Um, uh, it seems that uh, according to this, and it's true. Um, they changed the actual design of the disc drive. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video. Yeah, you can tell. But it's different on there. Yeah, there's because a big door here. As opposed to, there's no door there, it's just yeah, a slot. Yeah, it's just a slot, and then we have like a little tab, so to speak, sort of. Just locks it uh, in place. Yeah, that locks it in place. So... I wouldn't leave it like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's very interesting. And we have the... It's, it's crazy. We yeah. have a... Diskette folder. Yeah, a diskette fol holder. <laughs> the, uh... What is that big Uh, this one says it's formatted. Formatted diskette 2. Yeah, so they were ready to go, and then they never did anything. Apparently, I guess eventually we could we should check to see if there's anything on this. Yeah. Um, the big manual of the disc drive, which is in beautiful condition. It really is. Like this <laughs> might be the best one that we have. Yeah. From this was from 1981, so the disc drive was before, before? the 1200. Yeah, this was. Yeah. It, well, I'm it sure it was. 800 yeah, on it was there. compatible with the old. Definitely ones. compatible. Yeah. Um, better than half the manuals in GameStop. Yeah. And those are only a couple years old. <laughs> um, this is another, uh, the owner's guide. We have apparently, yeah, this is the introduction, so these... Those All the literature. Yeah. yeah. And we have the uh, the owner's guide for the printer, too, which is in really good quality as well. Yeah. In really good condition. What is, they have, like, a piece of... It's a... <laughs> printed probably in 1981. Oh my wow. god. <laughs> is that a sample printer page? This is an actual printing sample of your Atari. Wow. <laughs> wow. So that is awesome. That is amazing. 
They really didn't know what they were selling. Huh? They did not. It's it's. I thought it, we thought it was preposterous when we heard the <laughs> when we heard the price. When we heard the price, it, the price was only pasted on, or it was on like a piece of masking it was on the, tape. It was on the on printer. the dis, on the printer printer. or the disc drive. Yeah, one of the two. Um, and we thought when it said the price that it said, we thought that um. It was just, it for, was that just for that piece, and we were still thinking about buying. Uh, yeah, and then and then they said, "Well, we think he wants it for the whole thing." So we like instantly ran to like an ATM right away, <laughs> hoping to get back before some guy comes back and notices. No, that was just for one piece. They come back. He's like, "Oh, we I think it was the guy was there." Mm -hmm. We just gave him money, and walked away with it. It was Ridiculous. insane. I wish I was there. <laughs> Yeah, he'd be he'd be co co owner. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a uh, master master diskette two. So probably the diskette folder. I think yeah, and I think this is where um, yeah, the disc this is where system. the disk operating system two book came from because yeah. it says it contains reference manual okay. and one formatted diskette two. Um, we have various uh, that's tape. <laughs> we have labels, um, used labels that were, oh, for the, the tapes, which we don't actually have any of, uh, foot from something, a, it's a floppy cover, yeah, yeah. floppy cover, and <gasps> another warning slash warranty, <laughs> that's always nice, and then the thing that I figured would save to last, because I thought it was pretty interesting, also, um, it is a third party apparently yeah third party um microfiler a some software. filing pro yeah filing software um in like a it's, it reminds me of the VHS clamshell packages the big box ones yeah. apparently it was $50 when it came out Jeez. um and it it's for you can do apparently everything from christmas card lists to recipes Expense accounts, collections. <laughs> um, yeah. It has its operations manual. It has the cartridge itself. Right there. 1983. So this actually came out... After. After or at the end of the, uh, the 1200s lifespan. Um, we have a little tiny booklet pamphlet thing. Um... Which is still in preposterously good condition. Yeah. Um, it was just like, <laughs> I don't know why, but they decided to keep all of these tiny, yeah. tiny little slips of paper. We've got the owner's manual. And yeah, the owner's, owner's manual. manual. Perfect condition. Not perfect condition. In there. Yeah, like oh. it's because these are like in the the big the, the clamshell box. Never mm -hmm. ever even like the air is sealed in there practically, you know what yeah. I mean? That's a warranty card. Yeah, it yeah, warranty registration card. Never been filled out. Still <laughs> it's not even really like that faded. Yeah. So it's, what actually came in the entertainer? Was, um the entertainer contained um two joysticks, um, um Buck Rogers and, and Star Voyages. Star Voyages. Star, Star, Raiders. Star Raiders. Yeah. Um We also have uh yeah, as we said before, Pac-Man is in there, um, but we have no boxes or um, any... Well, we have the owner's man. We have the manual for Pac-Man. Right. So, I don't know... I mean, just based on the, uh, the condition that everything else is in, I feel like there are some exigent circumstances that lead to it not being here. Like, maybe they bought it from someone or... Um, maybe it came with something that we didn't know about, but the entertainer, it says on it what it came with. Yeah. Um, two joysticks, one, yeah, Star Raiders, Raiders cartridge, Missile Command cartridge. Which we don't have. We don't have that. I have Missile Command for the 2600. Wait a it's second, like then, <laughs> then Buck Rogers was totally different. Hmm. Well, maybe they replaced it just like they replaced the actual model for the disc Yeah, drive. that might be true, because I thought I read somewhere that it did come with Buck Rogers. That's what I thought, too. Yeah. If anyone has any information on this, uh, please drop me a PM. We'd love to hear about it. And and this... It ends... That looks... What is it? It's, it ends in ER. That's and that's... And, and Star Raiders and something that ends in ER, and Missile Command doesn't end in ER. Maybe it's Missile Commander. No, I that no looks idea. like an S. Yeah, S-E-R. 
S-E-R? Hmm. hmm. We don't know. Um, so, are we gonna <laughs> put everything all together just for demonstration purposes at some point? Yes, yes, all right. yes. Alright, we'll cut here and then we'll come back and we'll have everything set up. Yep.